Hello everyone, this is Running On Empty Food Review. Well, hello, ladies, gentlemen, and everyone watching. Welcome one and all to this newest edition of the Running On Empty Food Review series. I'm your host, the Report of the Week. Thanks for checking in. The amount of requests that have came in for this meal is insane. And for those of you who are regular, I think you'd say regular viewers, uh, even if you've just watched, you know, a couple reviews, or if you've been here for years, it's one of those things that you could obviously tell either way. That you know that in my free time, obviously when I'm not right here on camera doing the reviews, what do I do? I listen to shortwave radio and broadcasts from around the world, and I watch Rick and Morty. I am a hardcore Rick and Morty viewer. And, I mean, you know me. I am all Rick and Morty all the time. So when I saw that Wendy's, for a limited time only, is releasing a new Rick and Morty meal, I about exploded out of my seat. As a matter of fact, here's what I did. I was sitting in this chair, and when I heard the news about it, I stood up. So there are two possible Rick and Morty meals that Wendy's is releasing. And the one that a lot of people are talking about, because obviously a lot of folks these days, I mean, they still do, they like their chicken sandwiches. So this is called the Hot Honey Not Bird Person Combo. And... All right, you know, I'm just going to get this right out of the way. That was a sarcastic... And, uh, I'll tell you this. I don't... It doesn't bother me if you like Rick and Morty or don't. Uh, I've never actually watched it before. I don't do much uh, television or streaming service viewing. I know I'm kind of old school. Um, but in the end, you know, people like what they like. Obviously, it's been a successful series, very popular. I remember hearing about it even back in 2016 or so. And I guess it continues to this day. But... Now, I'm, I'm not even going to pretend like I'm a hardcore viewer of it. It's, it is what it is. Like I said, I don't have a problem with it. And you see these sorts of releases every now and then. So for those of you who like Rick and Morty, though, uh, I want to show you what the meal is, what it's all about, uh, and, of course, what it tastes like, if it's a good deal, etc. So like I said, the name of this meal, it, again, it's called the Hot Honey Not Bird Person Combo. That's the name. That's what they call it. And what it includes is a... A hot honey chicken sandwich. So the, the components of it, here's what they are, uh, comes with a chicken fillet, pepper jack cheese, applewood smoked bacon, fried pickle chips, a habanero hot honey sauce on the sandwich itself, and then it also comes with fries and a drink. And you can choose to get this as a small, a medium, or a large. And I decided to go with a small uh, in terms of the combo here. So I got a small fries, I got a small drink, and the price for it was uh, around $11.50 for the small. I believe the medium is around $13, and the large, you essentially add a dollar to that. Uh, so again, the small for this is around $11.00 and 50 cents, the hot honey, not bird person combo. Uh, one question that some people had, is this sandwich new, uh, you know, to the extent that did they make this sandwich just for the Rick and Morty meal? And the answer to that, from what I can discern anyway, is no, they didn't. I believe this sandwich is the same one uh, that I even wound up reviewing a few months back. So it's the same sandwich that's on the menu. Uh, the fries are the same, and in this case, uh, they did mention that they might have had some special drinks to go along with these, but in my instance, they did not have those drinks, so I wanted to just get a regular Coca-Cola. They let me know that they didn't have any Coca-Cola here, so I got some Sprite instead. You may also wonder, was there any sort of branding for this? Because you might be saying, all right, uh, obviously, maybe it's... It is what it is that there aren't any brand new special items for this meal. But what about the branding? Is there something that makes this special, right? Is there something that says, oh, 
Yeah, this is Rick and Morty. Uh, in my case, there isn't. These are the fries with the Wendy's being. Looking at you there. So standard fries, a small fries with standard packaging. And here's the sandwich with standard sandwich packaging. And the drink with the standard packaging. You know, here's an interesting observation. Some people were saying this in the last one, and now I see it. I didn't I didn't see it. See the collar there? I thought that was interesting. But um drink is the same. And actually what I'll do. Uh, because I, I wanted to look before I turned the camera on if there was any branding. I was personally curious, and obviously there isn't. I put the bag right over there. I'll just show you what it looks like real quick. Standard Wendy's bag. So, price again, $11.50. We'll take a look at the sandwich, and I'll just try a little bit of everything and go from there. There was a time where I would, I think, be more, um, looking for the right word, I guess I'd be more open to criticizing the concept, but it's not just Wendy's that does this. You know, every place at this point that releases a special meal at this point, odds are there's nothing really special about it. They just kind of add a name to it, and they just repackage items that have already been on the uh, on the menu for a while. You can see the bacon, you can see some of the uh, pickle chips right there, the uh, chicken filet, and I don't see a ton of the sauce on it, but I'd assume it to be there. There's some more of those pickle chips. But all these places do it. McDonald's does it. Uh, I believe, what's the other place that does it? I think it's, well, KFC did it and Popeyes does it. So all these establishments take the exact same approach to these sorts of meals, which is what it is. Limited branding, they repackage existing items, and I guess they try to do this to say, oh, this isn't just a chicken sandwich meal anymore, it's a hot honey, not bird person combo, when really it's just a chicken sandwich meal, but that's what they, uh, that's what they say, and it's just advertising 101, pretty much. All right. You know what's in it, I know what's in it, we all know what's in it. I'm going to try it out, I'll let you know if it's any good, if it's worth the $11.50. The Hot Honey Not Bird Person Combo, a.k.a. the Rick and Morty Meal from Wendy's, it's going in. Wash it down with some Sprite. I decided to leave the eating or the consumption sequence in for Rick and Morty. because we want to make Rick and Morty proud. That's what we all strive to do, right?
Well, by and large, I don't really have a problem with the quality of the food that I received. There's one thing that I do want to mention. I, I think this is merely specific uh, to my instance, so it's not one of those things that would be across the board. I am just, I, I want to point this out because you might see these sorts of things happening more and more. I don't really know, but I just say it kind of as a warning. Number one, in comparison to that slop that I had in the last review from Papa John's, this just blows it out of the water. And I know it's two different things, but it's nice to, it's nice to sit here and eat something that's actually edible and that you're not looking down at and thinking, God, this is disgusting. So it's, that's nice. That's nice to, uh, to see. And the sandwich in and of itself is, is pretty good. I'll say that to you right off the bat. That the sandwich, for the most part, is fine. I will mention the one criticism that I have immediately, because everything else is pretty good, and that's the bun. Uh, what I have noticed is that some of the bun is a bit stale. And that's the one, everything else on it is fresh. But if you look at the bun right here, I don't know if you could really tell, but these buns, when they're, when they're rather fresh, they're very soft, they're kind of squishy, maybe they're a little spongy, but this on the other hand, again, I don't know if you could really tell, and I don't know if you could actually see the force exerted, but it's very hard. Um, it's not, it's not fresh, it's not soft, and the bread is very dry. So that's the one thing that I, I notice with that sandwich. And obviously when the top bun is dry like that and stale, that will have an effect on the rest of the sandwich. But here's the good thing. Everything else on the sandwich is not of that same quality that the bun is. Because if the rest of the sandwich matched the bun, we, we wouldn't be looking at a good item here. But I remember when I had this a while back, because I know I reviewed this item before, and I enjoyed it, and I still enjoy it. So it's pretty good. I like that, and I think I showed you in the cross section, there's a good amount of chicken on the sandwich. That the chicken is well breaded, that it has a nice crispy crunch to it, but at the same time, I always like these, these sorts of chicken fillets where you still have that breading on it, but you could also see there's a good amount of the meat itself there as well. And that's what you hope for. And the chicken quality is good. It's flavorful, it's juicy, and it's fresh. It is like everything that that bun isn't. So that's what we want to see. Chicken is good. The bacon as well is good. Uh, you're getting some nice thick strips of bacon. You could taste it. Yeah, it's very fatty, but it's good. Nice crisp to it as well. And again, you have those pickle chips, like I said, fried, fatty, has that, uh, that crisp to it as well. But here's the interesting thing. You might say, all right, there's a lot of crispness to this sandwich. Is that overwhelming at all? And I can tell you that it isn't. So that's good. It's like they struck the perfect balance in that regard. The cheese is totally fine. Uh, it doesn't contribute too much in the way of flavor, but what I do notice is that sauce. And I think I mentioned this the last time I reviewed the sandwich, but I will reiterate that that sauce, the uh, hot honey sauce, you couldn't tell that there's a ton of it on the sandwich. It's one of those things that at first you look, you might think, well, where is it? Did they forget the sauce? Did they omit the sauce? Because sometimes you're, you're used to seeing these things just doused in the sauce. And a lot of the time it either has almost too much sauce or too little sauce. So when you look and you don't really see a lot, you'll think at first, oh gosh, this, this, this might not be good. But in this case, this sauce, a little goes a long way. And when you bite in, the sweetness is immediate. You could really taste that honey sweetness. And then the spiciness kicks in a little bit afterward. So you're going you're gonna to take that bite, and you're going to notice the sweetness right off the bat, and then that spice comes in. And the spice lingers more as an aftertaste, I would say. Nothing unbearable. Sometimes you'll hear a habanero, and you'll think, oh, this is going to be really hot. But in this case, it's more of what I would describe as a flavorful spiciness. It complements everything, and the sweetness as well. Ties everything together, and it makes this a good sandwich. So personally, the bun is a problem. I'm not a fan of the stale bun. But like I said, this is probably, I would hope anyway, just specific to my instance. 
but I don't know the way things are going. You might start noticing more and more stale food at your establishments, too. That's just something, just be on the, uh, just be ready for that. But, so that'll subtract a point, but at least the sandwich itself is still quite good, so that's good. The fries are average. Nice uh, saltiness to them, a little bit of a crisp. Nothing that I could really remark upon too much, but they're just flavorful fries. I don't really mind them. Uh, certainly, you could definitely, yeah, there's better fries, but there's certainly worse fries. And the Sprite, totally fine, standard soft drink, has that nice citrusy, refreshing kick to it, so certainly not bad. So in terms of the meal itself, all right, there's that one issue with the sandwich, otherwise the sandwich is good, the fries are good, the drink is fine. It's $11.50, though. There certainly was a time where it would be cheaper. Uh, it is what it is at that point. Mind you, that's just for a small meal. So I would say that it is a little bit overpriced at this point. Likewise, of course, what makes this special? What even makes this about Rick and Morty? There's really absolutely nothing about this that you could say has anything to do with Rick and Morty. So there's no branding, there's nothing. It's just a, a repackaged item that's already been on the menu for months. So that's something else to uh, take note of. So execution-wise, it's overpriced. There's nothing really special about this. So just bear that in mind. Take these things into account if you decide to get this. Therefore, out of 10, as a meal in and of itself, I'm going to be giving the Wendy's Rick and Morty meal a 6 out of 10. Generally speaking, the items are all right. But conceptually, I just think they missed the mark in that regard. The quality of that bun on the chicken sandwich, and with it being slightly overpriced. That's why it has the rating that it has, and that's all that I have for you today. Thank you for watching, and until next time, I'm your host, the Report of the Week.